I'm back. So our next destination from Kebone is Tuji. So I use these are all uh, I traveled uh, to Tuji using the bus. So I uh, used the bus pass, which is 700 uh, yen. So these are, can be used for the flat rate buses around Kyoto City. The flat rate bus rate is 230 yen. So the 700 use can be uh, 700 yen uh, bus pass can be used whole day for your tour around uh, Kyoto uh, City. So our next destination is Tuji and Takasigawa in Kyoto City. So tara, let's explore this uh, area. But before that one, I had to take my lunch because it's already 12 in the afternoon. For my lunch, let's uh, take the uh, Shirashi Sushi, which is a form of sushi consisting of rice topped with a variety of raw fish and vegetables or garnishes. So this is what uh, we I'm having for lunch. This is salmon don body. It's like 1,300 yen. Okay, look at the beef chunk of salmon. Yeah, these are beef. I think it's worth the money for just 1,300 yen. Uh, this is the entrance to Tuji Temple, which literally means East Temple. It was founded at the beginning of the Haiyan uh, period, just after the capital was moved to Kyoto in the late uh, 700s. So, Tuji Temple is one of Kyoto's uh, many UNESCO uh, World Heritage Sites. So, after 30 years after the temple's establishment, Kobodashi, the founder of the Shingon sect of the Japanese Buddhism, was appointed head priest of Tuji and the temple became one of the most important Shingon uh, temples besides the sect's core headquarters on Mount uh, Koya. So, Kobodashi also added many of the large wooden buildings that stand on the grounds uh, today. So there are uh, two halls at the west side from the entrance. This is the Kondo Hall and the Kodo Hall. So across the Kondo and the Kodo sta uh, Hall stands uh, Tuji's five-storied uh, pagoda. It was uh, it was originally erected by Kobodashi in 826. So it stands 57 meters tall, making it the tallest wooden pagoda in Japan, and has become a symbol of both the temple and Kyoto, as it can be seen from many places across the city. So the ground floor of the pagoda is occasionally open to the public and houses four smaller Buddha statues. A popular flea market is held on the 21st of each month at Tuji Temple from the early morning hours until around 4.30 in the afternoon. So the lively market is crowded with vendors on the plaza and in the park that surrounds the paid temple grounds. A wide variety of new and second-hand goods are on sale including clothes, tools, sculptures, kimono, antiques, pottery, toys, foods, and plants. And a smaller antiques market is held on the first Sunday of the month. Atuji is a 15-minute walk southwest of Kyoto Station. Alternatively, it is a 5-minute walk from Tuji Station along the Kentetsu Kyoto Line. So 2 minutes, 160 yen from Kyoto Station. So for this one, I used my bus pass, so I just used the different, or the flat rate buses around Kyoto City. So the admission uh, for this one is 500 yen to go to the five-story pagoda and the uh, condo hall and uh, kodo hall. So let us explore the simple ground inside the Tuji. Tara, let's go.
is a pillager. Our next destination is Takasigawa in still in Kyoto City. So for this one I just used the my bus pass to go to uh, Takasigawa uh, area. So Takasigawa or Takase River is a canal in Kyoto, Japan. So it rises from Nijo Kayamachi going along Kayamachi Street and meets the Oji River at Fushimi Port. So the canal crosses with the Kamo River on the way. Today, the south half is not connected with Kamo River anymore. So, it was dug by Sumi no Korario in 1611 during the Edo period to transport various goods and resources in the center of Kyoto. So it made a great, uh, great contribution to the development of the city and economic growth at that time. And I think Takasigawa is best viewed or best uh, best destination at night time because there are uh, restaurants around the area. So the, the reflection of those lights in the restaurants in the river will give you a breathtaking view. So this is the end of my second part of my journey to Kyoto. So the next part will be in Nininsu.